in the middle of trauma in the ocean. I pray my heart isn't swallowed by temptation, that the world doesn't lick its greedy lips while it stabs and dissects it, saute and charred in volcanic pits, flash frozen inside tundra storage rooms, repackage adulterated, edited with preservatives, squeezed into mason jars and labeled organic and cruelty free. Tossed around in Amazon trucks, I pray my heart isn't mass produced, offered as a free gift with the purchase of a share of my soul. I pray my heart isn't uploaded into the cloud, stored in neon green data centers, accessed by a cold mainframe, longing the warm touch of a stranger, filed somewhere in the middle of trauma in the desert under someone's bookcase. I, find, I pray my heart finds its home on a shelf with a view, preferably a desert or sea, maybe in someone's closet, in their pile of hidden books, or cradled in a cabin warmed by the fire. And if my heart is tossed into one, I hope the ashes grant solace, a ritual for someone's closure. I hope the charred walls of my heart become your sage. I hope it helps you heal, and if not, may my heart at least keep the fire inside burning a few minutes longer. I pray you never need to read a poem to know your worth, but if you do, I hope that you find yourself enveloped in seas of motivations and riptides of revelations and ocean currents that pull you away from your abyss toward a grotto for your growth, where anemones massage your temple and find the space to build your own sandcastle. And when you rise up, may the waves part and the sea foam creates a path back to your inner beach. I pray you find your fountain, and I pray it leads you to other oceans. And I pray the boat we sailed docks in a harbor of your true love's embrace. I pray you find love, even if it's not with me. Mm -hmm. Thank you.